the beneficiaries of Social Security have some exciting news. A recent plan seeks to enhance SSI and SSDI benefits for recipients by $2,000 a year, which would assist with growing costs such as housing, food, and health care. A significant shift in monthly payments would result from this additional cash, making it easier to fund basic necessities. Who would be eligible for this raise, how it might work, and why it was proposed are all topics covered in this video. Explore the potential effects on your finances in the next measures regarding Social Security benefits. Many seniors are feeling hopeful and excited about the recent news of a substantial boost in Social Security Income SSI and Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI benefits. A yearly raise of $2,400 or an additional $200 each month has been suggested by lawmakers. They aim to alleviate the financial hardships endured by numerous elderly individuals due to the increasing cost of living. As the purchasing power of poor people is being further eroded by inflation, making it harder for them to afford basic essentials, this plan couldn't come at a better time. It is critical for elders to understand the complexities of SSDI and SSI. Supplemental Security Income SSI is a government program that helps low-income seniors, those with disabilities, and the visually impaired. General tax revenues mainly cover its costs. People who have worked and paid into the Social Security system but are now disabled and unable to work receive payments from SSDI. Many elderly people rely on these programs as their only source of financial support, which allows them to cover their basic necessities. Representative Peter DeFazio and Senator Bernie Sanders have emphasized the need for immediate improvements due to the rapid growth in inflation rates, which has surpassed prior cost-of-living adjustments. They are leading the charge for the $2,400 hike. Since this program has the potential to instantly alleviate the financial hardships experienced by millions of seniors, it has garnered the backing of advocacy groups, such as the National Committee to Preserve Social Security and Medicare. If the raise is put into effect, it has the potential to make seniors' financial situations better, making it easier for them to afford necessities. A much-needed cushion against the economic strains that many seniors confront every day, it could also assist lower poverty rates. The road to implementing this increase, however, is not without of obstacles. Those worried about the proposal's effect on the federal budget may oppose it as it makes its way through the complicated parliamentary process. What happens next with this idea is heavily influenced by political factors. The majority of Democrats are behind it. But it could get support from Republicans as well because everyone is concerned about the health of the elderly. To make sure that policymakers put the financial needs of seniors first when they think about bigger changes, it will be crucial to have advocacy from many groups. The best way for seniors to be ready for any changes is to keep up with the legislative process and learn how their financial plans can be affected by additional benefits. By getting involved with advocacy groups, both locally and nationally, seniors can have access to helpful information and assistance that will enable them to effectively advocate for themselves. It is critical for seniors to evaluate their current financial conditions and think about how additional monies could enhance their quality of life while we wait for further developments surrounding the $2,400 raise. An encouraging new trend that has the potential to greatly improve seniors' financial security is the planned increase in SSI and SSDI payouts. Beneficiaries who depend on these vital services must be informed as this matter moves through the legislative process. The discussion surrounding this rise highlights the significance of providing our seniors with the help they require to live with respect and safety, through maintaining an active role and fighting for their rights. The future of these important safety nets can be shaped by the wisdom of the elderly. Social Security Income SSI and Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI. Benefits, which could be increased by $2,400, have generated a lot of discussion and interest among seniors and advocacy groups. Aiming to alleviate the increasing financial hardships experienced by numerous elderly, this suggested increase would result in an extra $200 monthly for recipients. Particularly because fixed incomes have seen a significant decline in purchasing power due to increasing inflation. This change could be a welcome respite for the many seniors who depend on these benefits to pay for essential living costs. Seniors are facing a more challenging economic scenario. Many seniors are unable to afford basic necessities like food, housing, and healthcare, and nearly 14% of the elderly population lives in poverty, according to reports. There is widespread agreement that the proposed increase is necessary to halt this downward trend and guarantee that seniors may continue to live well in old age. Senator Bernie Sanders and Representative Peter DeFazio are among the legislators who have strongly pushed for this hike, stating that the current benefits do not take into account the economic realities that older persons face. Their point is that COLA has not been updated to reflect the real increase in the prices of necessities. This causes many elderly people to have to choose between important things in their lives. Some advocacy groups like ARP and the National Committee to Preserve Social Security and Medicare have come together to back this plan, 
arguing that the planned increase would help with the budget right now and pave the way for bigger changes to Social Security in the future. The proposal's approval might have far-reaching monetary consequences. With more consistent income, many seniors would be able to put more money toward their health and wellness rather than worrying about meeting their monthly bills. In addition to providing a buffer against the growing economic difficulties experienced by older populations, this rise has the potential to lower poverty rates among the elderly. But getting this hike passed will be no easy feat, especially if lawmakers who are worried about the national debt are opposed. The proposal's destiny will be heavily influenced by the political forces in play, although it mostly receives support from Democrats. There is a chance that it could gain bipartisan support because everyone is concerned about the well-being of seniors. Participation from elders is essential throughout this procedure. Seniors can make their voices heard in favor of the proposed increase by contacting their politicians, taking part in community conversations, and joining advocacy groups. Lawmakers' views and actions on the financial needs of the elderly could be drastically affected by this grassroots campaign. Also, because benefits are subject to change, seniors must be proactive in their financial planning. To better plan for their financial futures and deal with any changes that may come, it is important for them to understand the effects of the proposed increase. This proposal is a timely reminder of the need to fight for laws that guarantee and improve seniors' standard of living as it advances through the legislative process. This increment is being discussed for more than simply its numerical value. They stand for a larger effort to keep seniors from falling behind in a dynamic economic environment. Seniors may have a significant impact on the future of the benefits they rely on by being well-informed and actively participating. Their goal should be to create a system that better accommodates their needs and acknowledges the value they bring to society.